We're back at the Keto Naturopath Kitchen, so welcome. Today, I'm making a zero carb egg white pizza crust pizza. I love pizza and I missed having pizza. Um, we've been keto for eight years. I have made Mitsa, which is a meat crust pizza, and I love that too. But this, this is just like real pizza, and I love it. So we're starting off, I, I make it very similar to the way I make my garlic rosemary bread and my cinnamon bread, but we're starting off with 27 grams of egg white protein powder. And I'm going to add a teaspoon of garlic powder, a half a teaspoon of dried oregano, a half a teaspoon of dried basil. I love basil. I'm Sicilian. I'm 100% Sicilian. So, yep, all the Italian spices here. And I'm going to add a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. You don't need a lot of salt because it has cheese in it. We just mix, mix all this together. And you're gonna say, well, pizza's not Italian. Well, you're right. It didn't originate in Italy, but I have eaten pizza in Italy. So here we have six egg whites. And today I'm using, um, carton egg whites because I don't care that it needs to be fluffy. I just need the egg whites. And I make the cinnamon bread and the garlic bread so often that I have so many egg yolks left over. And I have a lot of uses for egg yolks. Great ice cream, egg yolk waffles, egg yolk crepes. But there's a limit to how much you can use. So I'm starting to use carton egg whites. And six egg whites is 210 grams. So this is 210 grams of egg white. And we're going to um, beat it until it stiff, stiff peaks. It takes about five minutes, sometimes longer with the carton. So here we go. It's, this is just egg whites. So that's pretty much stiff peaks and it's going all over the place. So I used to fold in the egg white powder and it's like it never really mixed that well. Now I just dump it all in and then I just continue whipping. Now I am using my hand mixer because I'm using six egg whites. Sometimes when I'm making the bread or the focaccia, oh, I forgot to tell you about the focaccia. That is amazing. It's actually even better than the garlic bread. So you'll have to try it. But when I'm using 12 egg whites, which is a double batch of bread, I um, use my standing mixer. But now it's just six egg whites. I use my hand mixer. It smells so good. And it all gets mixed in very well. When I fold it, used to fold it in, it, I had just, it just tasted like egg at time because it didn't all mix in. I'm gonna make this pizza two ways. I have a pizza pan that I got at Old Aldi's, and then I'm gonna make a square pizza. Well, a triangular pizza. So if you don't have a pizza pan, Line a baking dish with parchment paper. The pizza pan I'm going to spray. And again, since we don't care about it falling, you need to spray. So I'm going to divide this into two. And the reason the rectangular, as I said, I'm Italian, 100% Sicilian. Every Friday night, my mother would make homemade pizza. And she always made rectangle. And she always made homemade pizza every Friday night and Saturday morning while we would watch cartoons, we ate leftover pizza. I think she did that primarily so that she didn't have to get up on Saturday mornings and give us breakfast. But I loved it. Cold pizza for breakfast? Oh, nothing beats it. So you spread this in the pizza pan, you spread it really thin, 
I think this is a 10 inch or 12 inch, I'm not sure. I'm warming up my oven now. So this is just in a rectangular rectangle. This is similar to the way I make my focaccia. I do have a focaccia video out there, so watch it. It is delicious. So this goes into a 400 degree oven for 10 minutes. And since I forgot to preheat my oven, I'll get some of the other things going while we're waiting for it to preheat. This makes two pizzas. So in, in um, I have that you use two ounces of pepperoni. That's one ounce per pizza. I'm only going to put pepperoni on one pizza today. So I have my one ounces of pepperoni all measured out. I am using a canned tomato sauce because you only use a little and I wasn't going to make a whole bunch of tomato sauce for this. And then four ounces of mozzarella cheese. Um, I buy this at Aldi. It is, it's sliced. I like this because it does not have any starches in it. If you buy the pre-shredded cheese, it has starches in it. But this, no starches, just mozzarella cheese. So it's two ounces per pizza. Um, you can also find sliced mozzarella cheese at, um, I found some at Food Lion, so probably most grocery stores now you can find this. So four ounces. So each gets one little row and a half a row. So this is per pizza. So after the pizza has, the crusts have been in there for 10 minutes at 400 degrees, we'll come back and finish it off. So they've been in a 400 degree oven for 10 minutes. Now, what I do is, well, next time I'll make sure I spray it even more. And what I do is I flip it over. So this is not how it normally comes out. Now, the square one, the rectangular one, which I, again, I've never made this with the um, carton eggs, so it could be the carton eggs is why this stuck a little, but that's fine. So we flip it over. Normally it comes out really nicely like this one did. So what we do is four tablespoons, just about four tablespoons of tomato sauce, and you spread it all the way to the edges because you don't want hard edges. Let's see, now I'm gonna put the cheese on. I think also the uh, rectangular one is not as thin as this one, so that could be a part of it. As I said, I've never made the rectangular before, but I'm thinking I might actually like it better. But we'll see how it is when it gets done. And I'm going to add the pepperoni, as I said, only to one of them. So I'm going to add it to the round one. This is going back into the oven from 5 to 10 minutes. So all you want is the cheese to melt. So we're going to put it in the oven and watch for the melted cheese. And we'll be back. So the pizzas are out of the oven. This one was in for 8 minutes. The rectangular one was in for 10 minutes. So now we're going to slice them up. And I think what happened is I did not spray the pan enough because it's never stuck before. So time to slice her up. I never thought I'd be using my pizza cutter again, but man, I got pizza. And people have asked, can you freeze the crusts once you bake them and freeze them and take them out as needed? And yes, they freeze very nicely. But at this point, I'm thinking for the round one, I really like real egg yolks better than carton egg yolks because my pizza has always come out amazing before. So now we have the rectangular one. Mmm. 
So now it's time to try it. Mm. This is so good. I really missed my pizza. And now zero crust pizza, egg whites, so good. Enjoy.